Welcome to the stage, Taylor Lewis from the Colorado Energy Office. All right, let's go. So, what do you get when you combine a bunch of engineered plastic floats and solar photovoltaic modules? Well, photovoltaics. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about Colorado's first system and how floating solar might help the state save water. That's right, water. But first, a little background on why a program engineer at the Colorado Energy Office is thinking about water conservation. Pretty early in this role, I was partnered with Boulder-based Western Resource Advocates to work on a project that intended to help the Colorado Energy Office implement more water efficiency projects through the Energy Performance Contracting Program. This project was a result of the 2015 Colorado Water Plan, a plan which intends to lay out a framework for the state to address future potential water shortages here in Colorado. Water shortages that will result from an increasing population and the increasing municipal energy and agricultural loads that Colorado's sustained growth will require. So any effort to save water seemed like something I should pursue. So you might be wondering, can the state really save that much water? Or maybe you're just sitting there thinking, when's this guy going to talk about floating solar? <laughs> well, that's where the town of Walden comes in. Where's Walden, you ask? Well, one day, Walden called me, and they said they wanted to do a performance contract. They said they wanted solar energy to be a part of that project. But the town of Walden doesn't own many buildings, they don't have much rooftop space, and they don't own any land. So when Walden and their energy service company partner suggested floating the solar, I knew this was an opportunity the energy office had to be involved in. So I started to share the concept. And in true Colorado fashion, I got asked, what about the fish? <laughs> Along with a variety of environmental concerns in every conversation. Don't worry, so far the studies show there might actually be some benefits to the ecosystems these systems are installed in. Benefits like shade and localized cooler temperatures for the trout. The systems might reduce the solar availability which algal blooms require to grow. And the floats might actually provide space for aquatic mammals, reptiles, and birds to eat and rest. Speak of an, speaking of environment, us Coloradans know that our elevation comes with a lot of sun, there's a lot of man-made dams and reservoirs to store water in the arid climate that we have. An arid climate that when combined with that sun results in evaporation, a lot of evaporation it turns out. Between 20 and 90 inches of water evaporates off our body's water every year. Thinking about this evaporation reminded me of some stories I'd heard from Los Angeles, where the city covered four of their reservoirs with hundreds of millions of black plastic balls and claimed millions of gallons of water savings. Could floating solar do something similar for Colorado? And if so, and we were trapping that water vapor under solar panels and it was helping to cool the panels, would those panels operate more efficiently while helping the state keep water in our reservoirs? Well, while I was having these conversations, it didn't take long for a catchy phrase like water energy nexus to show up. But it's definitely a more interesting application of the term than, say, cooling towers at your coal-fired plant or fracking wastewater. So while I was talking about fish and solar module efficiency and evaporation, the town of Walden and their partners had identified a pond to be the site of Colorado's first floating solar array. And when I say partners, I mean partners. This being the first in the state and one of only five in the US, this project was a great example of a dedicated and diverse team coming together to quickly implement an innovative technology. After 13 months of development, design, and construction, Walden's the proud owner of a 75 kW floating solar PV array with the potential to offset the usage of their water treatment plant. Colorado has a reputation of being leader in energy efficiency and renewable energy. And working on this project really showed me that it's communities like Walden and their partners 
that are the ones helping to keep Colorado in the forefront of these efforts. That said, the Energy Office would like to keep this momentum going, and we have plans to conduct a statewide analysis to really determine how many bodies of water we could cover and what benefit that might have for the state of Colorado for both its energy and water goals. Thank you.